Hello and welcome to the chart of the week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 3rd of January 2019 and the time has just gone 11.05 GMT. This week's chart of the week is the NASDAQ 100 and starting off uh, we'll take a look at a very long view of the uh, tech focused uh, US index. If we go back all the way to February to, to 2016, so nearly uh, three years ago, not, not quite three years ago, but nearly three years ago, we can see the market was sub 4,000 and then it had an enormous rally over the last number of years. And in this, in, 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 uh, in late 2018, in October 2018, the market reached an all time high. It got up around the 7,700 region. So that's quite a bit of ground to cover between February 2016 when it was below 4,000 and it got to the kind of 7,700 region in October 2018. But since October 2018, uh, the market has been a classic example of a downward trend, a, ser a nice series of lower lows and lower highs. And if this negative trend does continue to continue, we could be looking at retesting uh, the psychologically important 6,000 mark. And if we go below 6,000, we could be looking, looking at taking out uh, the December lows. And if should we take out the December lows, we could be looking at heading back down towards this area here at, at 5,000. Uh, apologies, uh, 5,750 this area here. Levels not, not seen since August 2017 in around that region. Um, the, move that we, we, the move higher that we've, that we've seen recently uh, could be a bounce back, it could be a short term blip before the market moves lower, uh, but also could be the beginning of the market turning around. So if the market does manage to continue on uh, from here and push higher from the lows of December, we could be looking at targeting this area here, the 6,425 region. Uh, it was a low from, from late April, and also notice how when the market did manage to bounce back in late December, it didn't actually quite get as high as that level. We could be looking at heading, heading up towards there. A move beyond that might bring 6,500 into the mark, and should we see a move beyond that, we could be looking heading up towards this blue line here, the 50 moving average, which comes into play at 6,685. Notice on, on a couple of occasions recently, um, in early December, that market, that, that blue line, did, ma did manage to act as resistance. And if you turn back, um, look back to October and also September, we can see that it managed to act as support on a couple of occasions. And if a metric has acted as support and or resistance uh, in recent, uh, recently, uh, it makes it all the more likely that it will do so again in the near term. Now, if you are going to be trading the NASDAQ 100, keep an eye out for Apple. Um, late last night, Apple uh, they issued a statement saying that they've actually lowered their guidance for first quarter revenue due to slower sales in China. And that, uh, and that um, put a lot of pressure on, on U.S. indices and also global equity, uh, global indices on top of that. So keep an eye out for Apple. Uh, this also comes at a time when um, there's a lot of talk about a slowdown in China and even a slowdown in the global economy. So please be, be, be mindful of that. Uh, tomorrow is non-farm payrolls, so the U.S. US uh, uh, jobs data is up and now as a bit of volatility. So if you are trading the NASDAQ 100 or any of the U.S. indices, please keep an eye out for that. In fact, I'm actually hosting a non-farm payrolls webinar tomorrow, which you, which you can sign up for for free. Uh, if you go to our website, cfcmarkets.com, under the Learn section, uh, under Webinars and Events, you will see it here, non-farm payrolls, live coverage tomorrow at 13.15 GMT. So feel free to sign up for that. And just one last thing before I go. Um, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review and Google reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.